Create some nice pixelated pictures with Pixakai. Next on iPad 365. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at apps to keep your iPad a play. Today we're gonna take a look at some ways to make pixel art with a program called Pixakai, and we'll do that in a second. First of all, I wanna let you know the iPad Twitter handle is iPad365. Of course, you can also go to the email show at iPad-365.com. We moved everything over to the new website over at iPad-365.com. You can check it out there. And of course, I've created the new iTunes channel, iPad365 Games and iPad365 Business Apps. So if you're looking for something more specific, then you can go to those channels and pull up the video from there. All right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a new app. It's called Pixakai. I believe that's how you pronounce it, P I X. A-K-I, Pixakai, and it's pixel art for professionals by Rizzer. It's You can create a lot of art with it, but you can also create pixels and create images for your iPhone art, for your iPad art, something that you maybe you're creating an iPad app or an iPhone app or a Sony PlayStation app or anything like that. You can actually create art in Pixakai for that. Here's how it works. I've done a couple pictures. They give you the sample one right here. I'm going to hit the plus for a brand new one. This is the template I want to choose. Do I want a 16 by 16 pixel? Maybe something for a web page or something like that. The little uh, favicon on the side. A small pixel, a medium pixel, a large pixel. We'll do double X large, 512 by 12, 512, which is for a gaming type system. Now it's just like a draw program that you would get with your computer. You've got uh, you, your area all set up. Uh, you've got a set of colors on the side, and but this one has another option. It's all it's called layers. So you can create some pixels, create a new layer, put more uh, images on top, fade them together, and back and forth. This is how it works. We'll just do a simple drawing. Nice red color here. We're gonna increase the uh, brush size a little bit. And then we'll just draw a couple lines, maybe like a Z or something like that. Nothing fancy, of course. And of course, if I increase the brush si size, I can make a couple other images right there. So there, I have my first layer with, uh, with whatever, just this little drawing right here. I can then create a new layer. And then let's say I want to do this in this shade of blue. And I want to uh, do the brush, uh, the paintbrush again. So I'll just do a couple Vs like this. And that made a small mistake, so I'll hit the undo button and the undo button again, and then I'll do this once again. And there's my second layer. Of course, I have two images. I have the blue color and the red color. I can fade out the blue color and I can see more of the red color or I can fade it back in. They're separate layers, so I can go back to this layer, the red layer, and actually continue to draw here or even just remove it altogether. There's an eraser tool, so I can even erase some of the lines. Let's make a bigger brush here. And I can erase some of this stuff. As you can see, the blue's not getting erased as the red is. And then as I create more layers, I can uh, create some pretty cool stuff. There's some art out there used by Pixakai that, you know, like a picture of Boba Fett I saw right before I started here. But you can get really cool with the gallery and make a lot of cool stuff. I just did some quick drawings, like here's a picture of a, of a guy just looking, uh, looking out into the distance. Lots of different ways you can set this up. I had a nice little fill in the back. There is a fill option, so I can I can create a layer and put it into a different color. I can then also cha change colors here and add a brand new color. Like for instance, I'll go right here and I'll go into the mixture and I'll say I want that as a new color. So I've got that ready. I'm gonna put that into my new color scheme. I can zoom things in just by simply pinching Zoom it in so I can make a more accurate uh, movement on my drawing. So if I want to make like a nose on this guy and uh, face and like that, I can do that and then zoom it back out and it's, it's done and I can go from there. All right, the name of the app is called Pixakai. It's by Rizzer. It's in the app store. It is $6.99 for the app, um, but check it out if you're looking to create some album art for your games, for, uh, for a website or something like that, this is a great way to do it. 
And that's this episode of iPad 365. What would you think of Pixakai? Did it work for you? Let me know. Twitter me over at iPad365, or you can also email me at show at ipad-365.com. If you've got an app that you want me to take a look at, if you've got an accessory that you want me to take a look at, just let me know by Twittering me over there. Hey, everybody, we'll, we'll see you next time when it will be another episode of iPad 365. I'll have another app for you that I'll be taking a look at, and we'll do that then when it will be another episode. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out. <laughs>